How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play the guitar solo to I Can't Tell You Why by the Eagles. This is an awesome solo and I'm going to break it down for you phrase by phrase but if you haven't seen part one to this video make sure to check that out because that video lays out the harmony, the chords that you need to know. It's really important when you're learning a solo to be aware of the harmony or the chords that you're playing over. So make sure you check that video out first. Now before we dive into it, I wanna give you a gift right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that you can download that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're gonna get so much more out of being able to follow along with each lesson with a handout that you can print out and practice with. All right, well with that said, let's break down this solo. Let's break down how to play the solo to I Can't Tell You Why as recorded by the Eagles. I'll play it for you first and then we'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so from our chord lesson, you'll remember that this part comes out of the re-intro. It's a little interlude here. We're vamping on the B minor. We're going one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and... And then I start up here with this lick. And this starts on the seventh fret of the low E. We're gonna go seven, nine, ten, then go to the fifth string, seven, and then eight slide to nine. This is a little bluesy phrase, right? It's kinda got a blues scale sound to it. So we're starting on that B minor, and then we slide into the note F sharp. And you'll remember that the chord progression goes back to the verse here for the solo. So the chord that's happening there is D major seven, but he's sliding right into that F sharp, the major third. Then this next part is really great. It's a bend, but it's on the lower strings. And that's the seventh fret on the fourth string. Then go to the fourth fret. And a lot of times you hear soloists, you know, ripping bends all on the high strings, but it's cool to play those lower strings and bend those as well. It's, it's hard to do, you know, if you're not used to pulling down or pushing up on those thicker strings. So that's a good exercise. Then we're gonna go. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Another little bluesy phrase here. So that's eight sliding to seven on the fifth string. Then five, seven, then drop down to the third fret of the low E, and then slide up to seven. So what's happening there is the band goes to G major seven, they're on the root, sliding into the third, just like we slid into the, the third there on the downbeat of the solo. So there's this little sequence happening in that solo that your ear catches onto. So you got. There it is. Okay, now we're playing on the lower string there, the low E. And then he moves up to some higher bends, but he uses a scale to get from the lower strings up to the higher strings like this. So that's basically going up a pentatonic scale. Right, like a, a B minor pentatonic or D major pentatonic. Here we're playing nine, then seven, nine, seven. Now notice that he doesn't just keep going like, right, like, so it's just going straight up a scale, but there's a skip in there, right, up to the bend. So these are played staccato, and then you bend the 10th fret on the second string. 
then here we start this repetitive figure that goes. Again, another sequence, right? Band, release, play the next note down of the scale. Band, release, play the next note down of the scale. So there's all this sort of uh, like a conversation going on where each line is connected to the previous line and you have you have a theme. So it's not just dropping in a bunch of licks and playing whatever scale patterns. It's uh, a real melodic solo. So we do that two times and then we go. Okay, this is a great great move here. So because we've heard the same thing two times, then on the third time, it does the same bend, but then he reaches up higher and grabs this note with his pinky on the 10th fret of the first string. And the Eagles would do that all the time, whether it's, you know, that kind of sound like a Hotel California uh, sound, you hear that all the time. It's a real country kind of thing, but it's also just a repetitive rock lick that you can. Everybody plays that lick, and I use it all the time. It's a great sound. So all together. Okay, and then there's a little vibrato. And then you'd go back pentatonic, nine, seven, nine, then. Now this is cool, this is one pluck, but you get all of that. That's a bend up, release to a pull off, then a hammer. See, all of that is happening with one pluck. And then you pluck again. So that combination of that articulation just has such a great sound to it. And these are the things that you want to practice because this is going to get you developing the techniques and, and the uh, just sort of ingredients to put together a great solo. And then the last phrase goes, that's just a little hammer pull on the third string. Seven, hammer to nine, pull to seven. And then we're back on the B minor. So here's the whole thing played as one piece. Have fun practicing this solo. Make sure to take it phrase by phrase and just work out each line and practice it along with the recording. It's really important when you're learning a solo to hear those phrases and try and imitate it or even try and play right along with it. That's the final goal. So you're getting the phrasing and the accents and all those things that we can't really write down in sheet music or we can't really talk about. We just have to be able to pick it up by ear. So that's what I would recommend. And before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And that's gonna make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. If you also have questions, let me know down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon. Mm -hmm.